Hello guys, Cfox here. I've connected my PC and my TV together, and this is the way I've turned on my PC at the moment. So I turn on my TV, ignore my always hungry cats, and make my way upstairs to my desk to turn on my PC. I mean, who has the time for this? I waste like 40 seconds that I could look at memes or YouTube videos or argue with people on the internet on how a snake should wear pants. So I have to fix this so I can turn on my PC with Alexa. I also want to turn off my PC with Alexa. Alexa, turn on Jarvis. First, I looked in the possibility to try a wake on land skill with Alexa. But wake on land only works when your PC is in sleep mode. So with some research and examples, I found a way to control your computer with an ESP8266 chip. These chips are cheap and reliable. The plus side is using this that you can also turn off your PC completely. We'll first start off with the components you need. You need an USB cable compatible with your board, some jumper wires, an ESP8266, a mini breadboard with some adhesive on it, a relay, 5 volt DC, and some mini jumper wires. The descriptions are also in the link below. When trying to assemble the ESP chip on the breadboard, I found out you don't have enough place to connect the jumper wires the normal way. So I found it handy to have the numbers on the breadboard and connect some small breadboard wires. This is a schematic to make this happen. The relay is a 5 volt relay and it works with the ESP chip. We will use red to connect to the plus and black to ground. White is a signal cable that we connect to pin D4. Now we will open my PC. Make sure you disconnect the power supply or the power cord to make sure you don't risk electrical shocks or anything like that. My PC is quite dirty, full of dust, so I start cleaning it with a vacuum cleaner. There are probably much better ways to do this and you can find some uh, great tutorials on how to clean the PC on YouTube, but I did it with the tools I had at the moment. After that I opened the slots and decided to put the ESP chip on the power supply. Then I disconnected the power switch cable on the motherboard. You can find it in the right corner on most motherboards. And like you can see it's a power switch with just two cables. And that's connected with the power button of PC case. What we will do is we will put the relay in parallel with the power switch. So what we will do is cut the cable in half. And connect them with wago clamps and then we connect the contactor in parallel with the power switch. Now we'll install the code. So we go to my project page, you can find it in the description below and you scroll down to code and you download it. Then you open it with the Arduino IDE and then you do tools. Manage libraries. And you wait till it's loaded and you can type in this Alexa module and install it. I will put a link in the description so you can copy paste it. It will take a while, I fast forwarded this part. After that's done we're gonna install the boards. So you go to preferences and then you put in the URL I will send in the description. Then you go to tools and board manager. You wait until it's loaded and then you type in ESP8266 or just A266 and then you install this package. You can have all the boards for the ESP8266 selected in the Arduino IDE. This took around uh, 6 minutes so you are free to get a coffee or a drink. 
when doing this. We'll fast forward these parts. Now we are ready to download to the ESP chip, so connect it to your PC with the cable. We installed the library already, we installed the board so we can select them. Now you make sure you change your network name to your Wi-Fi network name and the password to your Wi-Fi password. You can change the name how it's called in Alexa. Now by default it's called Jarvis. Then we go to Tools, Boards and then you will see the ESP8266 boards and you select the node MCU version 1. You set the COM port to the correct baud rate and then we make sure the COM port is the correct COM port the ESP8266 chip is connected to and we press download. It will start compiling, this will take a while. We will skip forward and then it will start uh, uploading. It will start writing to the ESP chip and when it's all done it will say hard resetting on the RTS pin. Now we will set up Alexa. First open the Alexa app on your phone. Then go to devices and press on the plus icon in the right hand corner. Add a device and then select light. Then we scroll down to the bottom and we select other. Then we're gonna discover devices. This takes some time, so we will skip this step. And after that, Alexa will discover Jarvis or the name of your device. You can set it to a group, but I will skip this. And now we can control it. So now it's time for a little demo. Alexa, turn on Jarvis. As you can see, the relay is turned on and turned off. We're gonna mount the ESP chip on the power supply, like this. So first we're gonna connect the wires from the push button, so it's in parallel with the relay. We're gonna use the COM port and the normal open port, so it works like a normal open switch when it's powered by the ESP8266. It doesn't matter which wire is in which uh, terminal. Make sure to screw it tight and you can test out your connection by pulling on the wire a little bit to make sure it's connected firm. Now we're gonna connect the other cable. After we connect it to wires, we're gonna connect it to a power brick. And now we're gonna connect our PC to the mains, so it can be powered on, so we can test out our ESP board. So let's test it out. Alexa, turn on Jarvis. As you can see, my PC starts up, now we will test how it turns off. Alexa, turn off Jarvis. And it works fine. Now we will mount the ESP in its permanent position on the power supply. So first disconnect the mains, just to be sure. And I first off start by chalking the relay module to the breadboard. I better did it after I glued the breadboard to the power supply in hindsight, but yeah, it is what it is. So you pull off this film and there is some adhesive at the breadboard and you press it down firmly ready to go for a real-world test. Alexa, turn on Jarvis. 
as you can see, my PC starts up. Uh, I call my PC also Jarvis because I'm a nerd. In my next project, I will make this wine cellar. I will use uh, ESP8266 to check the humidity and control the light. If you don't want to miss that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a like if you learned something or didn't learn something, uh, doesn't matter, just like it. I see you to the next video, bye.